It is Paul with two birds, one stone. Backyard gardening and living. Right in front of my beehive, we have this beautiful Northland blueberry. It needs mulch and it needs fertilizer. It is March 3rd, 2022, here on the Olympic Peninsula, Zone 8B. If you're asking yourself, when should I mulch my blueberries? The answer is now. Your blueberries should always have some mulch on them. I'm a mulching advocate. Here I am needing mulch. So make sure your blueberries have mulch. Today, we're gonna use ammonium sulfate uh, 2100 fertilize our blueberries it's a non-organic fertilizer it's uh, what I have available one day I'll transition to organic but not now I don't have the money but I'll give you two options down in the links below the ammonium sulfate that I know works and it works well or an organic option slow release which works well too anyway uh, I'm gonna use about a quarter cup here you don't have to I'm not super precise with it um, you don't want to burn your plant, use too much, but like that. And then I'm just going to scrape the mulch back, a little weed in while I get it. Scrape it back. Blueberries have shallow roots, so you don't want to scrape out too much. All right. As you apply the uh, fertilizer, you want to make sure you get it all the way around the plant because a blueberry can't take up nutrients for the whole plant on just one side. Um, so if I were to just put it here, it would just feed this side. You've got to do it. All right, I'm just gonna kind of mix it in there. That's it. Now, let's mulch it. I'm gonna use uh, pine, uh, pine shavings that I got at the feed store. They're actually uh, used for animal bedding. But you can use lots of different mulches um, as long as it promotes the acid type soil. So uh, peat moss you could definitely use, wood chips, cedar. I actually use the cedar, the stuff here, and this other one. And I know you're saying cedar, don't put cedar on blueberries, Paul, but I think that's a, uh, this is Western red cedar and it doesn't have any of the chemicals in it that kind of uh, inhibit growth like some of the Eastern cedars, junipers might. I'm not sure about those, but Western red cedar here on the Olympic Peninsula makes a great mulch from my experience on your blueberries. But you wouldn't want to use something that is going to make your pH high, like a hay, for instance, or straw, because um, it doesn't break down to the uh, acid kind of soil, or soil. Those bees are still coming out in the rain. We're getting a, uh, also, when you, after you fertilize, you wanna make sure you water your blueberries in well. We have an atmospheric river coming through the Olympic Peninsula again, so I don't have to worry about that. It will take care of itself in the next couple of days. I get a little freaked out by those bees. I don't like getting stung. I'm getting less afraid of them now that I have bees, but uh, I still don't wanna get stung in the face. My hands okay, face, I will swell up like a balloon and uh, people will freak out because I'll be a monster. Blueberries don't mind mulch right up to their roots. Unlike most fruit trees, um, you can put the mulch right up against their roots and actually encourages new, new shoots. Um, and that's exactly what we want. We want new shoots, new canes, because the young canes have the better, bigger berries. So you don't have to go light on the mulch. So you've been watching Two Birds, One Stone, Backyard Gardening Living. I'm all about the blueberries. I'm all about the asparagus, the fruit trees, and keeping them small and tidy, uh, manipulating them. You know what? There's not that much difference. Everybody can do bonsai in their backyard with a fruit tree. You can make it any size you want. 